time. I love this tour. I love the little shake at the end. We got Lars Verdell, absolute monster. Nice backstory. I actually worked with Evil Jared of the Bloodhound, the Bloodhound Gang, who fought Lars Verdell in a celebrity boxing match. That is 100% truth. Um, really unique guy, Evil Jared is. Uh, and he did beat Lars Verdell, surprisingly. So some of the stuff that I, I've always found interesting with Riddell is how he came out of the back of the circle. Um, and so he he sort of has if if you've seen or if you're if you've seen um Marita Martin out of Cuba, they both start off centered over here and it's interesting because now it's sort of like the the, the the new thing now is is like that Walsh technique, Stipe Zunich did it where you come off over the side here in the shot. These these guys and Maritza, they would come out from you know almost like a partial start out of the back. Um, I never really liked Riddell's left arm here, but that long right leg, so nice. But then right here, I never liked. He sort of like raises that right knee and hip, and then does that little pre turn. And if you if you think about it, this is almost similar to what. Um, you'd see Harding doing what 20 years later or 10 years, 15 years later uh, after Riddell. Uh, but one thing too is watch how Riddell here tucks that left. And I believe that's where Alekna got that left arm from. I believe I could be wrong. He's got that nice low left leg. And then when that left leg grounds right here, catches that pretty deep. I'd prefer if his left arm was at 180 there, but he continues to just rotate that right he that right hip right heel bent right knee all the way through sit strong into that left flat foot on that non-reverse and does that little shake forward just a huge throw in the stadium and we can see it here and you can see based off of where his left is he's he is off center pretty significantly you can even sort of see over rotate slightly right here and i believe that's because his right foot's floating but his left leg gets moving. He's holding that right nice and high. Peaks a little early here with that left shoulder, but he's very mobile, very, very mobile here in that right shoulder. So that as that left gets down, he sort of keeps dropping that right knee, and I think that's the big thing to pay attention to is watch that left knee, that left foot, right, how it's dropping, and as that left foot is dropping, his right knee is dropping. So a lot of coaches will teach to sort of extend these knees, and that's not what happens, okay? It stays bent all the way through, squares everything up, sits into it. Big, long finish for a monster throw that wins the Olympics. So if you guys want more information about discus throwing and how to be more technical, you can head over to throwsuniversity.com. You can pick up a training program or a technical analysis so that we can help you become a champion. Peace.